Hi, before I get started, I just want to point out two things. One, I am not a nutritionist, so I don't want to tell you guys what to eat, but feel free to modify this how you wish so it best suits your lifestyle. And number two, I don't count calories. I spend more time focusing on training and just eating clean. Now, having said that, let me give you an overview of the meals. So the first thing I have in the morning between 7 and 8 a.m. is just a protein smoothie. At 10 a.m., I would have some scrambled eggs and spinach. I would then go to the gym, do my workout, come home and have lunch. And that would be some brown rice, chicken and broccoli. Between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., I would just have like a light dinner, which is some tuna and some mixed vegetables. At about 8 p.m., I would have a light dessert, and that's just some cottage cheese and mixed berries. So let's have a look at how I would prepare all that. So the first thing we would do is turn the oven on to 220 degrees, which is about 430 degrees Fahrenheit, and let that preheat. We would also turn on the stove and let the water boil for the rice. The next thing we're going to do is slice up your chicken into thin slices. So they just cook a lot easier and faster, and I guess they're a bit easier to eat also. Now, I use frozen chicken and just defrost them, but uh, it's up to you. You can also buy fresh chicken. I just think it's easier to buy frozen chicken and have them in the freezer. Very easier to just defrost and have them whenever rather than buying uh, fresh chicken. It'd be pretty boring to have the same chicken every day. So once you cut them up, you could just marinate them differently. So for example, I've got uh, Dijon mustard for one day, basil and mixed ground pepper for another, and honey for another day. Once the oven is preheated, just place them in for about 20 minutes. By this stage, your water should be boiling. So I just buy already like uh, rice in a bag. So it's just a matter of throwing the rice into the boiling water and letting it cook for about uh, 10 minutes. In a bowl, mix six eggs, two for each day. Now you could just use egg whites, but I just throw in uh, the whole egg and uh, your spinach, of course. Now I use frozen spinach, chopped spinach, really easy to defrost and use. So just give them a mix. Oh, it should be about enough. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. So start cooking your eggs. Just make sure you mix them up and check on your rice also. So if your rice is ready, you can just uh, take it off the stove and let it cool down. So just after 20 minutes, check on your chicken. If it looks ready, then just turn the oven off and let it cool down. Organize your food containers. So you've got day one, day two, day three. Then you've got your 10 o'clock meal, your lunch, your dinner, and your dessert. So for the 10 o'clock meal, divide your eggs evenly into the three containers. For the lunch containers, divide your broccoli and rice evenly, and then for each container, just add your different type of chicken. For dinner, divide your tuna equally into the containers, and then like the chicken, you don't really wanna eat the same boring tuna every night. So what I did for the first one was add some sweet chili sauce. For the next one, I've just added some sun-dried tomatoes. And for the last one, it's just pepper and lemon, just to give it different tastes for different days. I've also added the mixed vegetables. Now, I just buy mixed frozen vegetables and just defrost them really easy, really quick, so I don't have to cut up 100 different types of vegetables. And finally, for the dessert, I just add cottage cheese and mixed frozen berries. Okay, now that we're done, I'd just like to quickly go over why I have each meal. So with a protein smoothie, obviously I make that fresh in the morning when I wake up. And in that, I actually have dried oats as well, uh, simply because I wanna have some uh, complex carbohydrates in the morning to give me some energy. And then the 10 o'clock meal is just obviously some more protein, but uh, I guess with no carbohydrates until I wanna wait until after training. So then I would go to the gym, do my training, come back, I'd be exhausted. I'd want a quite a big meal uh, for recovery. So I have chicken for the protein, and then I obviously have the broccoli and the complex carbohydrates, which is your brown rice. For dinner, obviously, I'm not gonna be doing too much activity, so I just wanna have like a light meal, and again, I do want protein in my meal, so that's why I have the tuna and then some mixed vegetables. Now, obviously, I'll still be a little bit hungry before I go to bed, so what I wanna do is just, just to have something, and the, the beauty of cottage cheese is that it's got slow-releasing re uh, protein, so, and that's called casein from what I've read. 
So that's fantastic to have uh, before you sleep. So while you're sleeping, the slow releasing protein helps with the recovery process. And there you have it. Now, before you go crazy experimenting in your kitchen, I'd just like to point out that it's very, very important to have a mixed diet. So I wouldn't recommend having the same meals week after week. Mix it up, try new things, and uh, hopefully that helps. So thank you so much for taking the time to look at this video. And if it helped you, it might help someone that you know. So please, please use the share buttons below and uh, share it on your Facebook or whatever social media you have. Thanks.